How's it going? What's your name, bro? My name is Colin. Colin? Where, where are you from originally, man? I'm from Alabama, bro. Alabama? I'm from Alabama. Ooh, man. You uh, grew up with my mom and dad? I did. I grew up with a uh, stepdad, uh, you know, my real mom. Yeah. What, what happened to your pops? Um, he just never around. He was always traveling and whatnot. You were? You know, he was always traveling, doing whatever he was doing. Yeah, yeah. Are you still in contact with him? Or? Well, now I am. You know, I got back in contact with him. Oh, you did? Yeah. How, when did you get in contact with him? How old were you? About 16. 16? Yeah. Oh, that's cool, man. Uh, was your stepdad pretty cool? You know, he was the regular old drug dealer of the town. You know how that go. Oh, he was? Yeah. Oh, man. So, uh, did, you, did you graduate high school? I actually dropped out to get my GED because I ended up getting into some stuff. And it was, even though I was in uh, like advanced classes and stuff, it was better for me to just get my GED and start working and stuff to get ahead and like, instead of being out there on the streets having to sell drugs and shit. Yeah. So you, uh, how old were you when you got your GED? Uh, 16. 16? Yeah, 16. Oh, that's cool, man. What, what did you do after that? Um, well, I ended up moving to LA to try to be a rapper. And <laughs> when I was actually in LA, I ended up, um, getting kicked out of the apartment that I was renting because they sold it the week of me moving there. So I ended up having to live in a hotel and it took up all my budget. And I had to uh, end up doing sales for like three years. What'd you do after that? Uh, after that, I stopped that. Got back into selling, you know, drugs and whatnot. Um, and I was like, shit, restart. I ended up having a daughter and I had to restart. Oh, you're get married or you just had a daughter? I had a daughter by mistake, man. And I actually had a condom on her and it still ain't working. Man, uh, you in contact? I mean, take care of her? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually take care of her Oh, now. cool. Yeah. Uh, what brought you here, bro? Um, well, I had to, you know, do what I had to do to survive. Got a good little job offer or whatnot. And, hey, where I'm from, making $10 an hour is all right, so when I got a job off of 30, oh, yeah, you gotta take that. You gotta take that, you know? Sure, man. Uh, do you have any life regrets? Regrets? I don't. I don't no. regret anything. I don't regret anything, man. You know, everything that I've done to this point has made me alive. Yeah, I wouldn't be alive if I didn't do those things. Come where I'm from, I feel like I'm successful right now. Just because I'm alive, Let's do you know, God, God got his hand over me for sure. Uh, you got any plans for the future? Any goals? Well, I want to graduate college. Um, I got three years. Uh, my psychology class is done. I just got one more year to go for my associates. Um, other goals for life. Um, I'm writing a book currently. Um, I also just made a clothing brand. It's called I Nine Times. You can look it up i nine times.com. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Right that's my goal. Cool, man. Uh, do you, you got any, uh, any quotes or any advice you want to give anybody? Quotes or advice? Advice, I would say, believe in yourself. People are not going to believe in you. Don't look yourself in the mirror and think that it's going to be different. People are not going to believe in you until you do. Um... Other advice I would say, actually, there was a quote that I read in a book not too long ago, and it said, every, excuse me, in a fulfilled need no longer motivates. A fulfilled need no longer motivates. That, that's my quote. Oh, cool, bro. I appreciate it. Thanks, man. Many blessings. Right. Many blessings.